Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be continuing my first Terraria playthrough. If you like the video, please subscribe. Links to my Discord and my Twitch down below. I'm going to start streaming in January. Alright, so the first thing I did was I moved the merchant back into my own house. That way he'd move away from the beach and I might finally get the ocean pile on. And sure enough, when I went to check, there it was. Finally. I feel like I've been trying to get this thing forever now. So I bought it. Put it up and now I can finally teleport from this pylon all the way back to my camp in the middle of the world. So that's going to save me some time just walking around the whole world. And look at that. Just like magic. And while trying to figure out what to do I decided I'd take a look at this boss and see how tough he is. A blood moon kind of struck at the exact same time but I figured I might as well take him on just see how he is and of course without any planning just like normal I immediately realized that this arena is awful I somehow wasn't smart enough to keep him in this bigger area I don't know why I didn't do that but I just kept him in this tiny area meaning that it was much harder to kill him, but it was much easier for him to hit me. So, if I do this fight again, I'll definitely have to make some platforms in that open area, or just tear up this roof and make myself a full-on arena. But yeah, it really felt like I wasn't doing any damage to him, really only to one of his hands, and other than that, he was absolutely destroying me. And obviously, no surprises here, I just died. So, that's pretty cool. I went back and tried to go down into the dungeon, but of course it didn't work. I didn't kill him, why would it work? So, yeah, that was fun. Then I went back home, dealt with the Blood Moon, opened up all these like Christmas presents that I found. I'm not quite sure how I feel about all these like seasonal items, but... I did appreciate the Shrek reference on the gingerbread cookie. Then I just decided, you know what, I don't really want to find any bosses right now, I just kind of want to explore more of the world, and so I decided to dig deep. I went back to the original mines, I followed this fairy, who of course led me to an awesome life crystal. I decided not to use it right away, I decided to wait on that, and instead get some more life crystals before entering the 200 health range. That's just because some of you guys seem uncertain if that'll make me enter hard mode or not. After that I got down to this lava part that I'd never been able to cross before, and I think I came up with a pretty decent way to get around it. It wasn't clean by any means, but I did actually get past it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I did immediately find a life crystal. So. That's also pretty cool. I also found this other guy. He wasn't really selling anything I wanted, but it's still cool to run into new NPCs. After that, I just kind of ran into another life crystal, so that's pretty cool. And then I just decided to dig even deeper. I was kind of just dodging these lava pools, going as deep as I could, and then I realized that I must be at the bottom of the world. This is clearly a late game area, um, but there was just nothing I could really do to survive around here, and I quickly died. So I probably won't be coming back here for a while. Once I got back, I decided to expand the arena for like the waves of enemies thing. If you watched my last video, you know what I'm talking about. But essentially now, whenever I decide to do these waves again, I'll have much more area. After that, I decided to finally use the three life crystals. Don't know why I didn't before, but just decided, whatever, I'll just do it. And then I went to the snow area. I did have some mines in this area, and I just wanted to expand on those. I connected them to these dirt mines that were kind of next to them, but ultimately my whole goal was just to go deeper. So after getting to the deepest point that I'd been to, I just kept digging down until I ran into this giant cavern, which I gotta say, 
is pretty cool because you just explode. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's happened already a few times. Whatever, I just returned and then uh, just kept on going. I did end up finding this cool house that was underwater, which I thought, now that's pretty sick. And so once I finally cleared out the area, went down there, and of course found more Hermes boots. I am so sick of finding just Hermes boots. I did later find out I could have just opened this door, and so I wouldn't have had to been struggling to survive while looking at chest items. But whatever, it's fine. That kind of describes how I do everything. Later I found yet another heart crystal. That's like the fourth one today, which is insane. I feel like I've found more in this episode than in the last five or six. And then I found the coolest area in the entire game so far. There's this nice blue like mushroom area. All the ground was blue and stuff. There was lava there too, which made it look even cooler. But yeah, this area was kind of insane. I also found another heart crystal here, so that's pretty cool. Other than that, didn't really find much, but it was still cool. As for today as a whole, got the ocean pylon, which I'm super hyped about. Got these sections of the mines, this like L-shaped part here, and then past this part where I died, all of that is new stuff too. And yeah, that's what I did today. Sorry this one's kind of short. I'm at my family's for the holidays, so I can't do too much, but thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you have a fantastic day.